tip from a KARK viewer leads to an investigation at the Little Rock Public Works Department involving potential wasted tax dollars. Because your money matters, Marcy Manley joins us now to explain what she uncovered. Marcy. Ashley, this centers around city gravel being delivered to a private property outside city limits. These loads of gravel were being stored at a location off Foosh Dam Pike. Our source told us Little Rock workers were told to load material onto contracted trucks for non-city use but on city time. After we were able to confirm the trucks were on site, as you can see here from a distance, we followed up to get more information. As of now, Public Works Administration declining an on-camera interview, but they confirmed the gravel in question was delivered to a private individual via those contracted trucks. However, they say there wasn't any deception on the part of Public Works employees, just a miscommunication. The individual thought they were given permission to have the property, while city supervisors say a foreman told them they couldn't have it. Still, multiple sources providing information to us claim there was not a miscommunication on the ground and that supervisors were aware of the loads going out and what was happening with the property. When they started, uh, there was a truck out there and they were told by their foreman to load the uh, truck. Charlie Daniels Trucking Company, dump truck. You're not supposed to do that. That's city material that belongs to the taxpayers. They paid for it. We're not allowed to do that. We've chosen to protect the individual's identity who agreed to speak with us because he was afraid he would lose his job at Public Works. City officials say they aren't sure how much material was delivered, but believe more than five loads were hauled by contracted trucks. They were not sure whether that material can be recovered, and they confirm it was material that could have been reused for city projects. At this point, city officials and Public Works say they have not had a chance to speak with the owner of the property where the gravel was delivered. They are still working to determine and how the miscommunication happened and the investigation is ongoing. Based on the amount we were told by our sources was delivered and the current price of gravel quoted to us, it could be more than $1,000 worth of material that is missing. Back to you. All right, Marcy, thanks.